Awesome. All right. Uh, it's Tuesday, August 20th. Um, thank you for joining us for a brief follow-up on our sandbox application reviews because we were net, not able to get through them all on August 13th. So we're going to get started with um, purses, purses. Apologies for mispronunciation. It's a dashboard tool to visualize observability data from Prometheus, Thanos, and Jaeger. Um, we looks like we did have some project commentary on it. Tag contributor strategy um, posted theirs, and uh, tag observability did provide uh, some project review information. Thanks, Bob, for pulling that up. Um, let's see here. Does anybody have any thoughts, comments, um, concerns, considerations associated with this project based off of the insights shared by the tag? Hearing none, are we comfortable moving this project to a vote? Yes. Okay. Me yep. Too. yep. All right. Seeing some head nods and some thumbs up. Okay. Let's move Percy's to a vote. Next up. And I will ruin the name of this one as well. Stevedore. Um, it's a useful tool for anyone who needs to build and manage uh, large numbers of Docker images, and it can help to improve the experience of building and promoting Docker images at scale. Um, we had a lot of project information about this. There were concerns with the name associated with it um, being shared amongst other open source projects. Um, let's see, Ricardo, you had some comments on it. And Tag Contributor Strategy provided insights. We also have a review from the Tag Runtime. Um, do we have any concerns, considerations, questions associated with this project based off of the recommendation? So the question I, the questions I asked uh, were, well, uh, clarified, I would say. Um, mm -hmm. So they explained that the added value is that they they manage multiple images and the dependencies, and they are man they are able to rebuild the required chain of images. Um, so they add value to the existing projects that focus on single images. That's my understanding. Mm -hmm. And they also <laughs> suggested that they could rename the project. Honestly, Steve Dor from past uh, experiences is kind of overloaded as a as a name and so from my side the clarifications are good enough um, I see that the TOC though uh, the tag recommends that it increases engagement before before passing to a vote yep how do others feel about the recommendation uh, Karina says, uh, reapply in six to 12 months. Uh, that's what I'm, I'm leaning for as well. Um, are others in disagreement? No, I agree. I, I think, it, it, you know, the tag recommendation already said it doesn't have sufficient community engagement. I also feel there's, we have quite some, you know, this container image building tools, like Docker image building tools, um, I'm just thinking, you know, if they could, you know, consolidate, that would be easier for end user to adopt rather than several or multiple individual products with not much differentiation. Yeah, both, both Lynn and I commented the same, the, the single maintainer. Yeah. Um, so let's do this um we will have we will invite them to reapply in six to 12 months um we'd like to see more contributors more maintainers um implementing the feedback from tag from the tag 
Is there a TOC member that would be interested in providing the, that comment and then closing the application? Yeah, I got it. Oh, thank you so much, Lynn. <laughs> awesome. All right. Steve Dorr, done. Next up is Cell Playground. Cell Playground is an interactive WebAssembly powered environment to explore and experiment with common expression language, providing a simple and user friendly interface to write and quickly evaluate cell expressions for use in Kubernetes, Istio, and other cloud native technologies. Um, looking through this, looks like runtime and app delivery. Reviewed it. Um, Jim's asked some questions. We got good, a uh, good response back from them, um, with some clear short-term goals. Um, let's see here, uh, app delivery and runtime. Key considerations: no current development happening on the project. Maintainers are from a single organization. Many are not active. Um. And they do have short term goals. There's a lot of feedback on the project. And the recommendation is that it lacks enough community engagement for a promising case for sandbox. Um, does anybody have any concerns, considerations for this project? Hi, Grantime, you came off mute. Welcome. Hi, just Hi. Uh, just as a note, they did present uh, to us uh, in the tag meeting uh, last Thursday. Um, so sort of uh, timing wise was was good. Um, so that that video is up. Um, I don't know that. Yeah, just I guess I just want to mention that it was fairly well received. Uh, it, it, I think there was a question of whether it's uh, you know, you they have to use their hosting service, but there's essentially, um, you know, you can you can self-host this service as well, and they're looking to uh, expand that for other projects to to use uh, other CNC project to use their technology to kind of gain that that insight. We, we have okay. not we have not reevaluated uh, after that review, however. Okay. Um, I think for myself, my it's not necessarily a concern. It's just more of an intent. Um, projects apply to the CNCF in order to seek adoption and to build community around them by end users and adopters. I don't see a playground project, regardless if it's for exploring a new language or exploring a new project is necessarily warranting to be a CNCF project in and of itself. I can't see it reaching graduation status, for instance. Can't see adopters deploying this into production for their businesses. Um, I'm curious if other TOC members feel similarly or have other thoughts and opinions on it. Yeah, I, th I think I agree with you, Emily, as well. Um, I think the the context they give is um, that adding the project to the CNCF will make other projects in the CF, CNCF more aware of its existence. But I'm not sure this is this justifies uh, Sandbox. Yeah, I, I agree. Others with different opinions, same opinions. Like I can see the the value in having a playground for people to test and play with things, but not not necessarily as part of CNCF. Okay. Um, so how about this? Um, what we'll what I'll do is I'll propose that we close this application as a won't accept. Um, and we should convey um what we had previously discussed here in that we don't foresee this project actually reaching graduation level kind of adoption and adopters deploying it into a production environment. That is why we are declining the application. Um, is there is there a TOC member that would like to write that up and then close the application? Okay. 
I can do it, Tim. Thank you, Ricardo. All right. Um, next up is ratify. All right. Ratify is a verification engine on Kubernetes, which enables verification of artifact security metadata and admits them for deployment only when they comply with the policies that you create. Um, I have seen this project at least once before. Um, and we do have a recommendation from Tag Security. Dims did ask some excellent questions on there. Um, Tag Security's recommendation is, looks like it's to include it in Sandbox with some considerations for the project, conducting a self-assessment, um, updating the vulnerability reporting mechanism so it's not bespoke to Microsoft, and then adding the best practices badge as another metric to track their posture. So overall, it doesn't sound like they have a lot outstanding. Um, Tag Contributor Strategy also provided their updates and recommendations. Um, any questions, comments, observations, concerns associated with this project for inclusion? All right. Are we comfortable moving this project to a vote? See some head nods? Yep. OK. Uh, Bob, let's go ahead and move Ratify to a vote. Last one. Yummy. Heterogeneous AI com computing virtualization middleware is an all-in-one tool designed to manage heterogeneous AI computing devices in a Kubernetes cluster. Um, it has some difference with uh, Volcano. Um, there is some roadmap context, which is focused more on uh, enablement of the hardware. Let's see here. Device plugin framework. Um, they presented to Runtime, who is okay with the project moving to Sandbox once they complete the admission checklist. And there was an excellent um, project review that was shared. Key considerations, diversity and in vendor influence, overall project health, alignment. They, they gave some good feedback to the project and the recommendation to the TOC is conditional, contingent upon addressing their security posture for automated testing and collaboration with Volcano and other similar projects for which there is a response back from the maintainer. Um, it's followed up by additional Q&A associated with the project. Are there any questions, concerns, or considerations associated with HEMI? Any discussion items? Kathy? It's a, it's a good project. No. Okay. Yeah. I think I was going to add, honestly, I, I, I read this uh, a little bit while ago, so I will reread it. But one thing, given that it's very tied to, to the some of the core things in Kubernetes um, for resource management, especially with the recent activities in DRA and similar. In addition to uh, syncing with Volcano and other projects, it would be nice to to also ensure that they coordinate with uh, what's being done in SIG nodes, SIG scheduling, and, and similar in Kubernetes. Yep, I agree. I'm glad you mentioned that. All right. OK, so the recommendation sounds like it is to move the project to a vote um, completion of the recommendations from the tag. And in addition to that, follow up with uh, better coordination with SIG node and SIG release. Is that correct? SIG scheduling. And SIG, SIG scheduling. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, SIG node, SIG scheduling. OK. And probably the batch working group. Scheduling. Working group. Oh, okay. there actually wait. There, there is another working group specifically for device management. Uh, let me get it, get it quick. Okay. Sorry. Thanks, Bob. Um. All right. So once we have the name of that other group, device management. Okay. 
Um, are we good to move this project to a vote? Yes. All right, let's go ahead and move this one to a vote. Excellent. We should still write down the, this comments, right? Yep, yeah, I, yeah. I've got it in a draft right now. Okay, okay, cool. Figure we were pulling teeth to get volunteers um, for doing that. So I'll take this one. Okay, um, I think that is it for the sandbox review. Sound good? Yep. All right, um, we can jump over to our other public meeting call now. I will see everyone over there shortly. Is it now? Yep. See you in a minute. Is it now or in nine minutes? Uh, technically in, in nine minutes, then we probably should wait to, to start because that's what we advertised. So if people want to, like, I'm just, just going to hop over out. there, but if, yeah. All right. Thanks. But we'll, we'll start at 1130 or at the half hour. So Sorry. it's another bridge, right? Another room link? Is it yes. Another? Yeah. Okay. Yep. It's the public meeting link. Oh, All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. See everyone over there.